Welcome to Starfinder, the Fragments of Eternity, Session 47, Part 2. It's the 31st of March, 2020. Oh God, what will April bring? I am Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. Hello, I'm Nico, and I play Zara. Hi there. Scott. Hi. <laughs> A giant hairy ape. Um, <laughs> sorry, no, it's a giant hairy creature, part ape, part met. To quote Leonard Nimoy, Hi, I'm Colin. And tonight, I'm playing Michael Quint. Sneaky, spooky, all together cookie, the Adams family. Da -da -da -da. Clutch, clutch. Thank you. Welcome to Radio Wasteland. I'm Alex, and tonight I will be playing fragment number three of Eternity Weird. The Android mechanic. I am distinctly unfunny, so I am Callum. I am playing Zig. Hi, distinctly. Oh, you're funny. We laugh at you all the time. Yeah. <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> A daylight court note, right? <laughs> and they want no racism. <laughs> oh, it's not racism. It's an homage. <laughs> To racism. <laughs> the Medicini. Medicini. Yeah, the Medicini. Straight there, right. Alex. Yeah. Right now, nothing is needed more than Medicini. The Medicini Galactica. <laughs> anyway, what happened in the last part, you ask? I hear you all say. Go listen to it. Yes, everyone go listen to it now. What are you doing coming in halfway through? You're missing the best bit, the end. Who the hell logs in at part two? Yeah, right? Stop yeah. putting my viewer count up, but keep doing it. But stop it on principle, but keep doing it. No, so, leave this one running. Just go open a new tab and watch yeah. part one. Yeah. And then, come back and then and watch re watch it. part two. Yeah, so once the, part two's finished, so we get exactly. double, double the. Right, so yeah, if you've got this far, right, there's, there's 47 episodes. Uh, with an episode zero and a story so far, episode 42.5. So open that many tabs. But also then double most of those because some of them run into two parts. So we're talking a hundred tabs. Yeah. That leaves one free for oh, Facebook. Calling. And there you go. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, smash that like button. Yep. All of the like buttons. All of them. All possibly one hundred of them. Like the bell. <laughs> but not a hundred times. Just once. I keep forgetting there is a bell. Ring yeah. the bell. Is there is there a way to find out Ring how many the tabs bell. you have? Probably. I don't know what. Yeah, start closing is. them and count. So, use land in Daza. Oh. Daza. Daza. I've zoomed in. I've got a Daza bow. I've broken roll twenty. Hold on. I like to move these anyway. Ah. Okay. So, these have landed in Daza, the weird pre gap city, full of Ooh. mutants and mystics. It's possibly the title. Maybe it's next mutants week's title. And mystics? It's probably next week's Maybe. title. You know what? Yes. Maybe uh, she's bored. Maybe it's mutants and mystics. Maybe it's mystics. Right, so. So. We've arrived. Mm hmm. Landed, docked, paid your docking dues. Disembarked. We're here. We're largely, or at least somewhat queer. Mm -hmm. Get used to it. It is a fairly, fairly queer core, they say, group. <laughs> queer core. A lot of honkies, a lot of honkies. No, Colin. Um, no. Back in the box. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell. Okay, so... <laughs> you, you made me part of the script. You knew you were going to record I didn't, it. I didn't make you part of it. I didn't say, Colin, you have to do this. Colin, also be racist. I never said those words. Oh, Who's it being racist? The, uh... 
You can't be racist towards us. Well, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, go for it. Who's us in this? Go. Let's get into it. Uh, meanwhile, in Akaton. <laughs> <laughs> the city I've of Dazzle. androids and rats. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> right, what's the plan? You have landed. Boom. Uh, I will ask the captain. So, uh, what's the plan? <laughs> Be the best place to get in touch with a ship. I would state openly. Uh, the Queen we just go find a workshop, perhaps. The Queen just sits there and just says, "Your organisational skills are filling me with confidence." <laughs> Stay with this. <laughs> I can't Stay in the ship. <laughs> And I'm some artwork for her, by the way, guys, and the character art. Just so you know. She, oh, she's more night over than anticipated. Um. Yeah, but I mean, you know, cool magical drill. Yeah. Let's uh, nerf. It's my favorite one. The really fancy art one in the middle. But yeah. 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 Let's. Uh... <laughs> Excuse me. You're excused. Let's get the, let's get the ship headed back to us, and then we'll have an idea of how much time we've got. We can decide how we're gonna prioritize. No, I don't agree. The queen's just staring at the group. We're probably sat in the opposite seats so. from her. Which is well. Oh, off we go, Captain. And, uh, oh, 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 Whatever it was, you suggest. Suppose. I'll go find some uh, uh, grease monkey bar, maybe. Yeah, don't like her. Grease monkey bar. I uh, yeah, I'll, I'll. I'll. Have a look around, see if I can get any information that might be useful to us, and once we have an idea of time scale, I can make contact. Try sources some equipment. What time of day are we at? I mean, I feel like this place maybe has stuff going on all the time. I okay. So like, can I roll me a d twenty four? We'll just decide what time it would be for local time. There you go. 18. It is. 18. Okay. It's 18. It's got to be. It's 6 o'clock somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, so we show. There's large factories and things around. So perhaps go to a bar near them and start chatting to mechanics, engineering types, to see if we can get our hands on some. Yeah, you know. Pay our way into one of the large facilities that has their own communications. Which looks like I should probably do the talking on. So that's, Happy to. So that's like a potential brave something to use their pre built antenna, essentially. Yeah. yeah. No, it's not a bad plan. <laughs> if someone could just let us into their uh, their office. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm liking that. I, I'll trust the man with the superior local knowledge, though. Oh yes, there's uh, people around here who will pay for us, as long as the captain's willing to pay. That's what I want. I'm well about it. We're talking about you're a rich space vesk, right? <laughs> I wish. I wish. I need better money. To be honest, I was kind of hoping we could sell this ship. Got it. <laughs> Well, we can definitely sell the ship there as well. <laughs> what are we doing with the yacht? Are we keeping that? You mean my yacht? Yes. Are we keeping that? Are we keeping that? She just stares. I would need to stay here, would I not, if it proves dangerous outside. I decline selling my protection. What if we trade it for different protection? Then we can talk then. 
This is quite a nice yacht. Okay. She like pivots in the chair a bit that she's on. Because I think the idea that chairs that swivel are probably still novel to her. Um, I think we uh I think we're we're all set to go then if if the captain down with that plan I'm not I'm down with it. What do you require money for? Access. Find me someone that has the access we require. Give me a price. Because she looks at Lyco when she says this, as if he was about to object to what she was about to say. Uh, give me a price for this excess, and I will see if it's within my benevolence. The ship is mine. And she just sits back in the chair, and it squeaks because it's obviously full leather. Good dog. Fair enough. Shall we get going okay. Set this yep. up and she waves to the console where maybe Zig's still sitting. She's like, set this machine up so mm -hmm. it speaks to you. So that you cut off at the last part if it speaks to you? So yeah, you that's what I said. Yeah, I'm comms. Yeah. yeah. It's basically link your comms to the ship. I think it probably already are. Oh no, because we've not used this. Nope. Yep, just just, so yep. no, we wouldn't have set up. Uh, I'll set up. Yep. Just I so she... Because, I mean, she doesn't have a comm device, right? So, yeah. she, like, she doesn't... I'll connect mine. Mm -hmm. I'll try and connect to the ship. <laughs> yeah, it's so long since yeah, Ziggs used a yeah. comm, he he's not 100% sure. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can all just link up to the, the ship's kind of communication kind of relay itself as well, just so you can keep in touch with her. Yep. Plan, and then okay. you can all you can all head out. Yeah, head off to explore Daza. Akatonia. <laughs> Akatonia. Daza. I can't. I can't do it. Mama foot here in the net. Shoot yeah. Daza. Yeah. <laughs> the worst of it was Gaza. Um, uh, <laughs> I, I've known so many Dazas. So like, uh, it's that's painful. fine. Maybe there's a Daza here. He lives in Daza, and he thinks it's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> so, are you all going to the same place? So, you're going to go like go safely wander around town in your enviro suits together, or are you going to? Um, I mean, well, I'm clearly with strange, weird, strange. You're strange. <laughs> you're nice. I am a strange. Strange with like an eight. <sighs> Fucking hell, Colin. Um. <laughs> Doctor Weird, this way. Doctor Odd. <laughs> See, it's weird because Doctor uh, Odd was a character of mine uh, from a what do you call it, City of Heroes. I played Doctor Odd, which was a Doctor Strange <laughs> ripoff. That fits. Mm -hmm. This fits the profit. Yep. Uh, where is the radiation protection -y blurb about armors in the core rulebook? Oh, uh... Because I want to just read if, in case you are all dead as soon as you step outside. Let's maybe get that first so we can deal with that. Yeah. In case we I discover. I definitely explicitly had like environmental protective gear. So I should be alright at least. The only thing is, you haven't been lugging it around with you. That's the only <coughs> downside. Yeah, yeah no, that's that fair. Wide. Probably wouldn't have had it on me. Especially the amount of travel you have been doing recently in terms of. Drink. Like, I can believe you have it, and if it would have been taken from the 11th hour, it'd be in car hole. So, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, armor, um, mm -hmm. armor protects you against low levels of radiation. Yeah. And go on, so. Yeah, so as long as it's background radiation, we should be fine, I assume. Yeah. Where is that? Sorry, I believe you, but where is it? Page 198 on the core work. Perfect. 198. Does somebody want to dump that in rules, Jank? And you get a plus four circumstance bonus for, again, it's higher levels of radiation. Armor of seventh level and higher grants immunity to medium radiation levels. Yeah, which would be mine if you didn't have holes in it. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you might want to look into that while you're here. Hey. Oh, minus six. So it's interesting. I mean, do you get specialized stuff that would protect you that well at lower levels? Because that's an interesting idea. Like, I think you would. I would assume you must. Yeah, you can. You otherwise, can, you, you know, let's you face it, you have can to be at least level seven to work in a fucking facility. But that, or they just provide you the equipment, right? If you work there, not that you yeah, own it. Yeah, it's not an equipped level, is it? It's it's a sort of recommended level. What I would um, suggest you all think about is the fact that weird isn't protected on this planet. Hmm. Uh, it's just kind of a couple of holes in the side, isn't it? <laughs> it's Android, right? It's the fact that you've got holes in your armor. It's yes. still an Android, right? <laughs> you've got two exposed arms. Um. Yeah, I, I have to admit, I just kind of assumed that androids would be alright. Yeah. Save. The problem is, they're still biological in a lot of ways. Yeah. Oh, so, that's another thing you maybe want to consider. It's something obviously maybe weird thinks about it when you put your armor on and you put your hands through and you put your two exposed hands and your two armored hands and you think, oh. You know. I will make for an armor shop immediately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can look for something nearby, I guess, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Like, I need sleeves. Or you could stay in the, the shuttle with the Queen and send people to get you armor. Mm. <laughs> well, that would be radiation, I mean, uh, I'm to be fair, it's when I say, right, cool, what other changes do you want to make to your character? Start rolling some random dice so we can make them. And then uh, we go to the mutation table. Oh, oh that sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, yeah. If you want to send one of us out, it would make sense to send me out. Yeah. I would think. I mean, I don't know. The ca cap's also got good charisma. My charisma's only two, but I've got some nice skills for... I've got Eagle basically people. that whole theme to get his discounts in that regard. He's also That's got, true. I think he also has all the money. I could steal though. Mm -hmm. You can go and grab have all the money. Everybody should, should have had the same amount of money as me. But there's been some spending. A lot of spending. And also <laughs> there's some losing track. In my part in particular. No. How does that go down then, right? Weird, who are you sending to get you armor also you know what it costs to get the armor you need so yeah like can you get me some arms please happy to but uh holds up the comms you're gonna need to send me what you need uh send the specification for it and uh, i think like i meant the money but yeah <laughs> No, no, I don't mean the. I I have some money. You can always, you can always wire me what I need later. <laughs> yeah, because I don't actually think I've got enough money on hand for a full suit of it. But I just get the top half. <laughs> I don't know if they'd sell in parts, but you could always ask. You could always, yeah, you know, try. Uh, I need some parts of repair, which is absolutely true. So that's yeah, that's not even a rule. <laughs> <laughs> Unless there's a rule for truth now. Because it's what, 10,250? 10, 10, yeah, 10,250 10, is yeah. The, the value. Yeah, I can't afford that. Um... <laughs> yeah. Do we try and steal it? We, we could buy it. That's the one there. Yeah, and it's a armory. Armory, and it's page something, 75. Army 75, there we go, that'll do. Spellcasters, you just... Just the top parts we need, okay. Realistically, arms and shoulders. Knees and toes. Isn't Zig pretty flush as well? I can't remember, like, Zig ever spent any money at the end for the... Zig has the highest <laughs> level armor between all of you. I spent uh, all my money on armor. <laughs> Zig like yeah, is the highest armoured person in the party, besides maybe Weird. I don't know if we've got money since I bought the armour, but I don't think so. 
I mean, I feel like he did. She got the armor from. You got the armor when you rescued him from the drow throne ship, right? And right. you have been. We got like 33,000 from. The... Basically, all got 33,000 each for doing the stuff on it. Yep, so you got money for verses, but then a lot of you put money towards the ship and other stuff, but what that yep. was, I don't recall. That was all it did. I, I put all the money towards it, and that's all it did. What I just mean is, you all like. He's, for your shares, they put a ship share to the side, I remember that, and then people got their own individual money. Um, mm. Yeah, we definitely were saying something. Mm -hmm. I, but, see, I mean, that should have all been spent for the ship. But I have no idea. Like, oh, if no. you just haven't tracked it, that's on you guys. I ain't me. I ain't me. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Zig like probably couldn't have spent it because he wouldn't have had a com. Yeah. So. They wouldn't have, I mean, we've not spent any money since we've done dresses, really. Like, nah, no, I've spent some pennies, but yeah, it's... Yeah, because that, for the most part, only Alice... That's how I've got money, is... Only I've Alice and, uh, Nyx5 spent money, and they both bought Spellcaster Aegises. <laughs> you should have, like, well, minus... I don't know, you should definitely have at least like 33k or something if you never spent anything from Versys. Since Versys, if you definitely didn't spend it, then a lot of people should have 33,000, really. I mean, that's why I picked up the power armor. That's what I'm saying, like, you and Alice spent money. I think spend. that's the only thing I remember yeah. specifically. I am. Um, but yeah, well, I'm so it's like my, weed drops and drops. I've had to spend on like taxi fares and fucking. Sorry, like, what was that? Alex? I'm still sitting on nine nine thousand. Yeah, still a bit shy. So if we're just looking for the parts, I could always have you wire mm. me the money. Yep. As I said, you could try and get somebody to sell you parts of it. Yeah. As I said, you would need yeah. arms and shoulders. If, if that, if Arms, shoulders, and like uh, a handful of components for the, the, the minutia between, right? But that's it. That can all be thrown in. Yeah. It, I mean, it just if you're really... shopping, I might as well throw you my short list as well, right? Hey, well, I mean, no mm. reason for you not to come with, Captain. <laughs> I suppose. Yeah, right, we'll do that. We'll do that. What six plans? The quicker we get us done, the quicker we get in touch with the ship, I suppose. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. no. I think Zig's going to just kind of explore the immediate area. Just just go off by himself. Okay. Yeah. Um but I think before leaving the shot he's gonna to turn to the queen. Um and just like just before he leaves, just say Sorry, your highness and then just leave. I think like maybe she goes to say something but then you like you've ran off by that point so she doesn't really get a chance to to really do anything or re like react properly. She was maybe just that kind of almost about to open her lips and then you've left the room. <laughs> so, uh. Was like even there. <laughs> okay, um. Yeah. Well, I would disembark with that. Right, cool. See. I would like a survival roll from Zig and probably the same or culture, survival or culture from whoever's leading the part, which is probably. Lyco, since Zora has never been here before, right? No, or... that's not before, no. Okay, um, yeah. I'm going to roll culture. That is the worst I can possibly... Brilliant. <laughs> so, Zig, you, s <laughs> you specifically want to go off on your own, yeah? Yeah, just kind of... Um... Always a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, not, not particularly far, but just the surrounding area see to see what's what's around i think zig's just kind of in Zig, what sorry i keep losing the end of your sentences really yeah cool sorry uh, it's not um, just you i mean yeah, everybody it's because our connections are yeah, bad just now i've been losing i've been losing everyone but everything so well for the full conversation watch it back from my side um but yeah the yeah you can like Start wandering around. Uh, maybe you pass by some, like thrown together, like makeshift monasteries and like places of worship and stuff like that. Um, like the Church of the Newfound Limb and shit like that, right? Um, 
the physical reformation society and I don't know like are there various puns based on like mutation and religion right so mm -hmm. you kind of wander around and it's probably familiar ground for you in a way right because it's a bunch of different like, again pilgrims I guess right and people on because you you probably came here as part of your pilgrimage that's probably somewhere you went um before you joined up with the crew for like the second time yeah sure because maybe when obviously you would go out for your graduation you go on your pilgrimage and maybe obviously part mm -hmm. of like maybe the crew found you in Akaton maybe I don't actually remember how you were found to become part of the crew but yeah maybe it was in some way tied to Akaton maybe it wasn't maybe you just came through in passing who knows it's up to you but yeah I think I think he's gonna just kind of <coughs> like head towards um one of the odd monasteries and like go in and have a look around and stuff. Yep. <clears throat> um, Excuse me. For the other two. <laughs> you obviously go looking for. So it's like an equipment shop, right? Like stuff to buy stuff. I'm yeah. assuming your your go to. It's not a bar anymore. That's the secondary plan. So. Yeah, no, that's clear. Yep, and. Yeah, you wander and wander, and it's not that you don't find an equipment shop, it's just nowhere has a spellcaster Aegis. Like, that's the problem that you're having. So, you've maybe passed by five or six different equipment shops in various states of, like, your, you know, presentations. Some of them might be full of actual, like, people go there and dump scrap and get money for scrap. Other places are some actually decent suits of armour, but just nothing on the level of spellcaster Aegis, right? It's a very specific type of armor. Uh, I will in that case. Uh, so maybe this is like you just walk out of the, this. Maybe you just walk out of the fifth shop at this point. I'm uh, I'm gonna calm. Uh, in fact, you know what? I'll tell tell the captain before I randomly do it. Um. Okay, so, uh, cap, I'm. I'm afraid my local knowledge is failing me. I, I, I think we gotta, gotta see what what Nick can, uh, what Nick can. Weird. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I, I stumbled over like every permutation of Nick's, and it wasn't Nick's at all. It's it's weird. It's weird. I nearly called him Doctor Strange. I nearly called him. <laughs> <laughs> things. I don't fucking know. I am so sorry. My brain doesn't work. God help me. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I, I would say I, I, I think I need to contact Weird. Um, I, I, we're gonna we're gonna be wandering around here for forever, if if not. So, uh, oh, no. Zora, are you gonna use your yes. abilities or are you gonna? Um, let me let me let me see if we can, we can find a wee, a wee something something. And uh, I mean, I guess I just use a celebrity skill, right? Yeah, go for it. Works that way. So, what you're looking for is somebody with enough connections to acquire exotic items of choice. <sighs> is what you're going to use your celebrityness to track down. Yes. The problem is that specifically gets you noticed. Uh, they really but that's the cost. That but that's it. Like that's that's the that's the trade-off, right? Find connection. I mean, I'm going to get noticed a lot at this point. I mean, I really don't care. I may as well start using what I had to get. Mm -hmm. right? like, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I guess, well, if you're saying in character, I might as well you know, make myself known. I, you know, I would say, um, well, we're not with the Queen right now, so we don't have to worry about anyone making that particular connection just yet. Um, it's not claiming to be an Akaton, right? <laughs> no, I mean, there's, there's always going to be someone looking for us, but I don't see this being the... I don't think we need to keep too low of a profile. Yeah. I would nod. Then, I guess, I'll click on it, just so I can remind myself how we do it. While you're reading through that, right? Weird. Yes. So, they close the outer airlock, they all wander off, Maybe you watch them for a bit, maybe you don't. But then we saw, obviously, Zig just 
hang back a tiny bit from the two of them as they're talking to each other okay. and Zig obviously fucks off to the other side and disappears and then what do you do in the shuttle with the Queen as they go wandering for a couple of hours stare at the door for the first couple of minutes yeah and I think if you are staring out no. the door then you, you'll see the fact that Zig specifically like goes a different way after maybe like 20 yeah. minutes or whatever and then there's the slow blink <laughs> and the sigh. Both sets of shoulders oh. slump. <laughs> yeah. Every time. And then turn around. And I guess just look at the queen. And I think, like, she's just that, like, sitting on her, like, the chair. She's kind of side on, her legs crossed, and she just, look, her eyes just dart towards you. Like, I totally wasn't just looking at you, look out the window, then sigh. And her eyes just dart to you. Is there a problem? Weird? Zig has wandered off again. She stands up, like, automatically. Like, her hand kind of goes to, like, her necklace. Does that concern you? Should it? And you can tell, like, her tone's a bit more serious. Clearly, she's concerned. Well, last time we wandered off together, he went missing for a year. And... What was in that? He went missing for a year, is what I got. I in a puddle. <laughs> and in my palace, he went missing in another puddle, it seems. Yes. Fortunately, Akaton is known to be quite dry. So. <laughs> it's not only thing. <laughs> Now, just for every day, laughing and joking and whatnot, look at the top and bottom of the map. It's ice fields. Pretty, pretty frozen. So, it's a worry if we lose Zig on this place. It's a worry. But a lot of it is very dry. Nice. Like... But yes, so, she, um, maybe she looks out the window at that and she says, Yes. I... Clearly, like, still clutching at her necklace. And then she turns back and goes, You like to build things, yes? That is one of my skills, yes. Do you worry about your companion? Uh, generally, yes. And she kind of like she's looking kind of like left and right, and she's she lets go of her uh, our necklace, and she says, "Your armor. Can you make it sealed with the components you have, if not for you, but for me?" Theoretically, but... Uh... I am rather fond of that boy. So am I. I'm also rather fond of this one. And, like A look goes across her face and then like she's almost burying teeth a little bit and she kind of like suppresses that and she says, you have asked your colleagues to acquire you in second suit of armor to repair this one are they also going to acquire you a second zig to repair that one if something ill happens to him i don't know it depends what sort of deal they can get. So your friend is replaceable, is what you have told me. No. It was a joke. She blinks. <laughs> Do they not have jokes, wait? My concern 
for a ziggazy joke to you? That is not what I said. It seems to be what you're implying. I worry about his safety. You compound my worry with tales of his misadventure. And yet, you seem amused, caring more for this material thing. No, I also care for Zig, and one of the last conversations we had together was about his desire to stand on his own two feet. And Many drunk intense. men wish to stand on their own two feet. Zig is better than any drunk man. And yet, you are not so concerned to patch this temporary thing. My concern is more about whether, to you, it would be temporary. What need have I of something so inelegant beyond this moment? Well, you may not need that yacht much longer. It's still not going to make its way back to the owner. The owner and I came to an arrangement. He transferred it to me. You can check this on the... Uh, what was it, the Infosphere we're calling it? Yep. You can check this on the Infosphere. I think you should maybe even say something like the Sphere of Knowledge. Something like that. Something bullshit. You can check this on the Sphere of Knowledge, if you wish. I do not doubt that such a transaction exists. She's got like a dead stare at you at this. Do you want the yacht? Is that how much Zig's life is worth to you? I'm not trying to lecture me on the value of his life. No, let's make jokes about it, instead. If you hadn't noticed, making jokes with each other is what we do. We? The crew. So you consider me part of your crew, finally? Well, I tried to make a joke with you. You do not be interested in being part of that. Yes, because the time you could spend making the joke could have had you strip from the armour and begin work. And you... What did you say there? I, m I must have missed that. <laughs> it's just our connection's been iffy, that's all. Anything stupid on my end? Yeah, I've got you now, I think. <coughs> Uh, okay. What, what were you saying on that last point then? She says the time you spent making the joke could have had you stripped from your armour to begin work. I will refrain from making another joke. You may make all the jokes you wish so long as you work. Does this seem fair? Um, this is not. It's like this is not an. Second, sorry. I was just saying, I'm, I'm sorry to falter. I've never, just never been propositioned. <laughs> she, um, she smiles at that, and she says, "Yes, there's a first time for everything. I've never had to convince a four-armed android to save a Suki before. We are all in new territory, it seems." I don't imagine this will be the last time either. And we... I start unlocking the armor. Yeah, and then she goes, "What can I do to help?" And I think maybe like, maybe it fades out from the, yeah. you know, God knows what they're gonna come back to soon. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the uh, other two. <laughs> now, keep in mind, <laughs> in theory, Weird should keep in mind he's getting a. Brand new Aegis suit, ideally, or at least bits of like a, a new Aegis suit, even though he knows they aren't having much luck finding one just now. So, meanwhile, back at the part where I think Lyco was going to call him someday, or sorry, Zora had stepped in and said, Well, 
You know I am me. <laughs> uh, so do you want to have that scene now and see what happens? Well, I guess I can maybe start looking around through name. I guess. Tends to work sometimes. And I, I, know, I know how to do it. So it's like culture D10 to somebody recognise me, me my name D20 for just somebody to recognise me a context and take yeah, 24 but to be fair though if you just go to somebody that's likely to know you though right and yeah. you provide the context you don't need to roll I don't think um I guess I could just because to me to me the price to me well. the price of that is just you compromising your like nobody knows where you are that's it. So the, I can basically just pull some do at my ass within like two D four hours that will recognise me. It's yeah. Yeah. Thing that would work. Yeah. So I guess just roll two D four. Yeah. I guess. Fucking favoured by the gods. Bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, six hours though. That's fine. Yeah. It just means you just have to go wander for six hours. It's not really that bad. It just means by midnight yeah. you find somebody really right. Yeah. So. Yeah, you just go off looking and maybe it's about trying to get connections. So obviously between the two of you, you go to somebody's shop. They say go to this guy. You go to that guy's shop and it says he's at a pub and you go to the pub and then the pub owner says he's not been in today, he's been sick. You know, the proper like ridiculous episode of where do you need to go and <laughs> whose cat do you need to save from the radiation tree? So of course. you just spend a bit of time doing that. Uh but yeah, like I, I would say, like at midnight, yeah. Like, here's a question, Zig. Yeah. Are you likely to check in with them, or do they need to come find you? Because I'm happy to skip them to midnight, but obviously, if you would have calmed them, that would have came up by now. So, um, it really depends, obviously, on the stuff I'm going back to school. I, uh, I. Not Probably sure. not, unless I find anything egg-related. Right, okay, cool. I'll come back to you in a bit, right? Okay, so, you two eventually get to some exotic arms dealer, which is literally the person you're looking for. She'd set your ass. <laughs> uh, it is probably some really overweight Lashunton man. Okay. Really old Lashunton. And his name's Bob, but it's spelt with a Q. <laughs> no, nope, it's pronounced Bob. Just, it's just Q, but it's pronounced Bob. Yep. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it is now, anyway. Bob the Overweight La Shanta. Overweight La Shanta. Ah! I guess. And outside, it's Bob. probably like it says Q's place, obviously, on the neon yeah. sign. <laughs> <laughs> but being uh. such a. Skilled ambassador, the captain's flawless pronunciation wins him over. Yes. Yeah. Bob. <laughs> yeah, it's Bob. Yeah. I've spoke. I've spoke the other sentence, right? Um, so you head in, and it's um. There's beads on the door, so you know it's classy. <laughs> so you head through the beads. Um, they're all holographic, so you know it's even more classier. But nice. they they still horribly like ripple over you. But they do it in a way that's been programmed for things of a certain size. So when you walk through it, it clips. Okay. Uh, I think when Lyco walks through it, it just doesn't register. Yeah, probably right. <laughs> if we go back to the old janky cockpit door syndrome, yeah. yeah. Um, so you just walk through, and then uh, it doesn't make the beep noise. But then obviously you turn around and uh, Zora walks through, and it clips halfway through Zora's body because it's not designed for vesk sizes. And then. <laughs> Uh, Bob uh, turns round it's kind of bizarre kind of, it's not even a counter as such he's just sitting on like a massive what looks like a throne at the like in the shop and he's got like a bunch of TV screens around him and there's like like two couches back to back that have just been dumped in the middle of the shop floor and there's a bunch of holographic terminals at the walls and he's just like watching you and he's just his hand goes into like a bucket at the side of him that's bringing out some weird look tar-like paste and he's just kind of slopping it into his mouth with his hand. Mm, lovely. Lovely. Good. Romantic man. 
it's just Bob. Just Bob's place, right? Romantic. Uh, ah, Was Zora uh, looking for love? Was that right on Akaton? I can find you love on Akaton. It must be this Bob that we've been hearing about. Person like in the big chair. So it coughs and splutters a bit. Their antenna twitches a bit. Uh, that blah, blah. Who is asking? Well, I mean... Sully puts paste in mouth. I recognise you through word. I mean, surely you recognise me, right? <laughs> raises an eyebrow and the same antenna raises as well above them. <laughs> Who's your friend? Um, a friend. He just looks at you. I, uh, I nod and uh, he smiles and he's got like like three black teeth on his top row and he just like grins um, horribly, and he's like, ha ha ha. Paste right on uh, his chin. In fact, you know what? No, I'm not going to needlessly introduce myself here. It's enough that I, uh, he obviously will assume that I'm working for the captain anyway if he's figured out who this is speaking to. So I'll leave it at that. I'll just sort of do a little half bow introduction. I think the bit like here's some more setup, right? You have you have been told to meet Bob by other people, and Bob has been made aware that you will be turning yeah. up, right? That's all been established, so you aren't just dropping in cold on this guy, mm. he he, ha he is expecting you guys, so he at least knows Zora, Dora, the Abyss, right? He knows that reputation. He probably, depends on how well he knows Zora, depends on if he knows about Lyco, which is very, like, tenuous, right? It's unlikely he's going to know about you. That's good, I'm happy with that. Yeah, like only if he was sat, like if he'd done loads of research, then he might know about you, right? But that would need a lot of research. Mm -hmm. Lyco's good at trying to keep under the radar as well, so it's not like you do stuff that causes international or galactic incidents, is it? But, you know, <laughs> never. Like a friend as well. He's always been good for that. <laughs> like, if somebody yeah, did, you're the famous on one. The he's the incognito one. Yeah. <laughs> Look, he's technically he's listed as dead anyway. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's as off the books as you can get. You need to get access to that file and just update it daily, so every time you do something, people will think you just died after it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, but yeah, so... You um, just get this big, horrible, disgusting, smiling Lashanta man. So I hear that you're where we can get some specific goods. Just, like, he's still grinning. I mean, like, he like, starts to, like, dab his fingers together, and they're all, like, Pulling parts of this paste between them, grubby little hands. And he goes to sit up, and he has to like do that thing where he has to rock a second time to get off the chair. Oh, it's nasty. Man. And he stands up. <laughs> and, then, and like maybe at this point, you see that he's got loads of like um, the equivalent of bling, but it's like massive chains, but it's all like random like scrap parts we'll that's all around him. Um, so it's not like flashy or glitzy. It's Strange components all clicked together in a big kind of tech necklace, if you will. A techless. And a techless, yes. Yeah, a techless. Techless. Good and uh, he leans forward. Uh, and you hear him like struggling to breathe a bit. And he's like, <sighs> <sighs> So. And then like he like leans on the arm of the chair. And then like at the side of it, he's got like a stick. He brings forward and he starts to lean on. He puts a lot of his weight, his significant, ample weight, on the stick. And he kind of just leans there, looking a bit like a fairly dishevelled image. And he, uh, has, I hear you've been looking for an exotic arm stealer. With <sighs> nod. They like. Goes into his back pocket and pulls it like a handkerchief and just starts like dabbing his forehead, and his cheeks, bits of like tar coming off on it. So, well, and gestures with his hanky towards the terminals on the walls. 
You're welcome to browse my wares. Appreciate it. Kind of just like Looking nods, forward. and then like as you like maybe like head off to like the terminal that's nearest you, like it kind of slowly like clacks his way with his staff, his like walking stick thing, clacks away to like put himself between Zora and Lyco. Okay. And he just stands in front of you, Lyco. Kind of look. He's quite a tall guy, uh, quite a big guy. And he just looks down at you, breathing heavily. You've seen this look before. Remember that Nissalosaur that tried to eat you? <laughs> and he's just looking, and he start, he's like dabbing his like lips, and then dabbing his God, like is a uh, head like with this this handkerchief, just breathing heavily. I think I um. Can my eyes glow? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I want I want I want to just very briefly suddenly look a lot less appetizing. <laughs> And I, as you do that, he uh, leans in really close. Okay. Uh, can you roll a fortitude save? Uh, I can, but will I succeed? That is the... Uh... It's probably not relevant. The smell coming from this guy is like when you sit next to someone and you're fully aware of their body odour without them realising it. You know it's bad, and you sit and think, "How do you not know it's this bad?" Yeah, I've been in a few shops like that. And this guy's just breathing heavily, and he's really close. And you can like, you can smell his breath, and it is like a. You drank spin, right? Did you know? Yep. yep. So you. I did. It's. It's pretty. It's almost the same sulfury smell, but it's not quite spin. But it is definitely like that horrible. Oh God, what died in your mouth? Some bootleg fucking moonshine. <laughs> that or it's just something really off as well, right? Because sulfur is like what off eggs, right? So yeah, so yeah. I mean, God knows what he's been consuming there. There's sunshine in this, and that we call it. Isn't it? I mean, he has like so a no moonshine. <laughs> moonshine, sunshine. Uh, maybe in certain planets, yeah. Zig would call it sunshine. We know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, like the only thing you seem to have done is make him more interested in you. Okay. Can I roll a uh, sense motif? Yeah, you can. That's the worst I can do. Right, what do you think is going on? Either as Colin or as Lyco? <laughs> uh, as Colin? I, I don't know, I think he probably wants to eat him. Yeah, and as could... Lyco? <laughs> I don't know, that seems a little too weird. <laughs> I but mean, he definitely gets his, the, the indication that this guy immediately put himself between him and the captain, and he doesn't like that. Mm -hmm. I would just be like, oh no, Bob. You can, I mean, this is all behind uh, you. Yeah, you don't necessarily Bob. notice this. Yeah, you're, you're browsing the catalogue for what a, a you want and what a thing you wanted. Um, this is just a little moment. There's nothing specifically visible yet, unless Lyco makes anything like audible, I mean, sorry. Just this old man walking around his shop. This old man, no, he's not that old. He's just a big man. And yeah, do you say anything or just kind of like stand there looking a bit awkward because maybe you were like trying to work out what his game is and you're like, is he going to eat me? <laughs> I mean, yeah, probably. I just sort of maintain... Like, was kind of that funny, right? So, yeah. And then uh, maybe after like an uncomfortable minute, right? Like, as you were sitting going, hurry the fuck up, Captain, hurry the fuck up, Captain... And this guy's just... <sighs> and he kind of like leans back a bit and like as if he's repositioning his weight on his staff. I say staff because I think he's a big man, but like really it's a, a walking stick. And he leans on it and he, he kind of just looks at you, all kind of slumped asymmetrically. And he says... You're a... Uh... He licks his lips. <laughs> he's a that nasty thing, man. He's not an guy. <laughs> he's nasty, man. He's horrible. You're um, uh, Bri. Yes. That's uh, correct. Yeah. How long? 
Just starts like putting his like his hand cap to his Let mouth. Let me just check how long again. Actually, I think it's the ten years. Ten years, maybe. But I live in the just... boost now. Uh, three o eight. What year are we? Three nineteen to eleven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do you say to him? Um, I suppose I wouldn't be that specific. About a decade. His eyes like open like as wide as they possibly can. And there is rather ample forehead, and he uh, is and, like his antennas both like perk up. I was like, so, so young. Starts dabbing like his forehead again. You, his uh, you know a lot of my kind then. Again, this look in his like corners of his mouth, trying to fight the rolls of his cheeks and uh, he's like very um, lucrative lucrative Christ um. <laughs> so yeah like Zora at any point now because they're talking obviously <laughs> you can be involved in the scene but yeah it's not it's, it's um the fact that he knows about Barai and that they were lucrative is all you've really obviously maybe picked up. Okay. Uh, Not to say that you need to interject it, obviously. I yeah. don't know if I'd interject it. Mm -hmm. You, um. happen to know anyone around these parts of this, uh. this nature? He grins. Uncomfortably, like a, you know, almost scrunching up your nose, kind of grin. Can and, you? Uh, he's like, lifts his head up and starts dabbing under his like where his cheek, his jawline would be, and he uh, starts dabbing the folds of his neck. And he says, "There is um, a lot more of your kind." Since the crash, crash. Yes. Are you new to Hackathon? It's been a few years. It starts like licking his lips again. The. The Oxian cruiser out in the desert. Back See. when Absalom. Like, okay, like, waves his hand as if it's dismissed. Like, just rolls his hand a couple of times. Crashed out in the desert. Many people try to scavenge from this, but they don't die so easily. And he, he goes to laugh, but it just sounds more like a wheezing. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not... It's not the first place I'd choose to scavenge. But I meant specifically Barai. And he kind of like, he looks at you again, and he kind of nods once. Many Barai. see that is a new development and you kind of just uh, slow noises would you be interested in some business arrangement you and I what are you offering You want components from my collection, and I would like to replace those components. Starts like dabbing his forehead again. It's like folds the hanky to the other side, which is just as dirty. Starts dabbing again. Like his cheeks and his eyes and stuff, and he's like. What would you be looking for? Eoxian technology. 
powerful technomancers. Mm. Very exotic. Specific? The rarer the better. Much like yourself. And he just licks his lips again. Oh, he's nasty, man. He's disgusting. Mm. Um, <laughs> you leave Bob alone. This is fucking disgusting. He is horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. Just awful. Vile Q, man. Vile Q. Shameful, unlawful, ungodly. Uh, I can't turn it around at this point. I mean... Uh, and I would just be like... Hmm... Could also maybe solve what other problem... Talk about the communications. Just, just Problems? Probably use that. And that's obviously the segue in, obviously. Yeah, oh god, yeah. So, no, I, th no, I think... No, Bob. I think with that, um, like, maybe you say problems. And that's when he, like tries to like turn round with his stick <sighs> and he's like problems and then we cut from you guys there and we go back to Zig hello 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 so <clears throat> some time into your wandering all right maybe a couple of hours of heading through all the different like maybe pilgrim shanty towns and various stuff like are you sticking down there is the religious -y? So it's things. sort of the religious area, but I think what is what is goal is to kind of see if if there would be anyone that he would feel would have any sort of information on the eggs, because I feel like although religions and stuff are radically different everywhere, mm -hmm. um, something as serious as this, there would be some mention of some other. Um, yeah. Be it, you know, the darkness and the light or the... the Plus, I mean, other solar disciples might be here, right? So, like, exactly, people yeah. so long he's, he's... long since gone through their graduation and stuff. Um, yeah, so he's, he's, he's just going out looking for places and peoples. Mm -hmm. and, uh... Through systems. <laughs> I come from the net. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I, but yeah, anyway. so... As you're walking through, I, like there's various like food vendors and stuff, and any kind of cyberpunk Tokyo vibe that has like food vendors outside and whatnot is this, but like littered with people, and um, people preaching their religion versus other religions, um, maybe even a couple of fights and stuff that you pass, like scraps where people are debating the finer points of um, theology, and uh, you get to like I don't know. Maybe there's like a crossroads, both symbolically and physically, and you look down one side, and it starts heading towards the the city core as such, which is where a lot of the kind of focused radiation is. But it's also mm. where the crazier, like slightly more out there religious people are. Um, and again, as long as you don't just live there, your suit would protect you, right? Um, for yeah, most of that, because you've got like level eight armor, I think. Um, uh, but the double check, but the other way is starting to go back towards like the outskirts of the city. Um, so it's almost like if it was like a if the city was a circle, you've got to a point where it's like a V shape in front of you, and one of it goes back towards the core, another one like starts to angle out towards the side of the the city. Uh, so maybe like as you're sitting there and you're thinking, do I head? Left towards the core, I head right towards the the outskirts and possibly li like more slummy conditions, but probably depending on six background places you're more used to, um, mm -hmm. or do you head back towards like the ship kind of a uh, like area that you kind of wander from, which who knows if you can even find again. It's been about you know several hours of wandering, to be fair, maybe like um, four or I something like that, five. Yeah. And I think there's definitely been a lot of that's been um, kind of letting the street take you where you're going. Yeah, you've just been following it and like, in. you've been taking in the culture instead of rolling for it. Yeah. Yeah, um, I think uh, I think he'd probably head right towards the outskirts um, because in his head, like in his head, that's closer to the ship, even though. Yeah, even though it's like not. Like yeah. <laughs> it's like oh, I'll go this way because the ship is relatively to my right for some reason. Um, yeah. Like, think of it like a, an equally spaced out 
a like three point thing, right? Triangle. One of those. You can have one of those if you want. One direction is going towards the core, one direction is going towards the outskirts, other directions back towards the ship. So it is like, just think of a triangle for that. Yeah. So whether or not Zig's taken that in, who knows, but you did a pretty good survival roll to wander around. Um, and you have pretty much just been, I don't know, passively mapping the place as you're wandering. Yes. Um, finding out all the kind of random like churches that have popped up and probably random medical facilities based off of religion. Um, whether or not they actually help, as I said, like the clinic of the seven arms and bullshit like that, or ten feet for our lord. Um, but then you start walking towards the outskirts, and we maybe just have the camera follow you from like above, and it's got all the kind of like overhanging awnings and various neon lights and stuff there with the kind of the bright orange glow of the distance. Um, as the sun starts to like go down uh, from the rotation of Akaton, because it is getting late at this point, it's night time. So it's like the sun setting, orange light creeping in towards you. So we have the silhouetted Zig again, and then you have the <laughs> the voice through a mouthful of noodles. It just says, Zig! And you look up, and a... Uh, Edgar Wesland is sitting at like a noodle stand, <laughs> shoving noodles into his face. Oh, no. And we uh, we end the session there. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh god damn it! That's mm. quite funny. <laughs> yeah. Edgar. Edgar Wesland eating noodles in Akaton. Oh, yeah. Yup. So. What would you like to name the session? Zig is better than any drunk man. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Do we want, like, I a... teared up. I teared up. Uh, did you? <laughs> I did. I was like, I had to mute. I was like, ah! <laughs> so is that just going to be... Uh, is that what we're calling it now? Zerg? Is that the, no. the, the merged name for you guys now? We're back, baby. Yep. Um, yeah, so um, I, if you just want to put in some suggestions, yeah, go for it. After that, Alex, I did, before we even get to naming, I really enjoyed that conversation between you and the Queen. That was good. Oh, I was like, I was going to say, yeah. like, that's, that's basically oh, that's what I enjoyed the most. It was so good. Uh, but we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Let's name the thing first. You've, you've basically just highlighted the highlight of the, the session. So. Um, <laughs> So yeah, what what names are we getting out of that then? Um, sure. So, um, we are the crew. What about that? Yeah, I was thinking that. Because that's. Along those lines. I was trying to think of something along like the, the crew. Yeah, um, like that's the best I've come up with. Um, part of the crew. Part of the crew, yeah. Next week we're part of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> or, I mean, yeah, re. Imparted with the I don't know, like what if there's no unfair of that. But yeah, so we are the crew, part of the crew, which is one. Part of the crew. Part of the crew. Dig. Yeah. I part, like part of the crew. Part of the crew it is. Colin, no vote. No vote for you, Colin. It's <laughs> right so I'll pop that into our session net tracker. Part of that's par. Part. Part of the crew is also valid. Part of the crew. Uh, part of the... It is valid. Uh, yeah. Right, so... Uh, you back with us there, Colin? I went for a piss, oh. and the first thing I heard as soon as I was about to get up was like, Edgar West, and I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, that was literally the last <laughs> shot. You left on the last shot, man. Uh, we've named it part of the crew, by the way. Um, mostly because of the... the sentiment from... Next okay. five. Uh, unless you have any daring and controversial suggestions for a name. Uh, no. No, I don't. Cool. That's fine. That works for me. Let's go to goals. Goals. <laughs> Anyone think they've done their goal? No. no. <laughs> cool. Uh, I mean, if we cut back to weird, technically... Right, the armor. Yeah. <laughs> Just not for me. Yeah. So, I mean... We'll see how that goes next week. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, who, yeah. That'll be fine. Uh, yeah, I think goals are as is for the moment because of f fuck you, Bob, and also fuck but you, Edgar. Bob was actually useful because he's just given me a little bit of information, and I don't actually think I need to do shit for the guy to get what I want. Because something tells me Ramasethu is going to know more about it than he does. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, so let us perhaps normally controversially I start with the person I think will talk the least about the particular session, which is a hard thing to gauge, but because I'm nice and I want Callum to talk next. Callum, do you want to review? Normally I would end with you because you were the last shot, but... No, well, we already know what I really like. No, tell us now. <laughs> this is the official I film. thoroughly enjoyed Weird and the Queenie's um, Little Zig Jet. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, <laughs> I did have to mute. I was I was crying with joy and yeah, sadness and oh and good, everything. It's good quality content. Don't need to mute for that, buddy. We got you. We want the tears. Ah! <laughs> no, it was. I was like, ah, what is? <laughs> Um, so good. So um, the reason I like it is because, if anything, for the audience at least point of view, the Queen's at least a good intro into showing Weird's opinions of Zig again, instead yeah. of what we mm -hmm. know of the original Nix Five and Zig's connection. Obviously, has went through a lot since then. So yeah, it's kind of nice um, to have her as a shoehorn into that again. I think it's I think it's nice to see that I think I mean I could be completely wrong in this, but it's what Callum's taking away from me. Mm -hmm. Um is that weird isn't as concerned because he, he like Zig's going to be fine in, in Weird's head. Like he can he does have the capability to, to kind of um take care of himself in a weird way. <laughs> yeah. no well, thanks. Weird, <laughs> weird did say to the queen, like you know, he did say he needs to stand on his own two feet more. Like, for you never yeah. said those exact words, but yeah, like the gist of that was conveyed to the queen, where it's like, yeah, he doesn't want to be treated like a kid. Yeah, which mm -hmm. is valid. Yeah, um, and he is incredibly competent mm -hmm. in his own way. Yep. Right. I mean, he actually piloted the ship really damn well. To be fair, so oh, yeah. yeah. Everyone's a hero. See what happens when you put that egg way. in a box out the way? Like, one doesn't distract him. Yeah. <laughs> put the big shiny thing away and he's not distracted. Um, yeah, anything else you want to add there, Zig? Um, oh, Bob's horrible. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he's nasty. Yeah, you didn't have to do it. <laughs> this is fail, no, man. I didn't, but I was sitting there and I was like, I, I know this person. <laughs> Right, so oh. so I don't want to be typecast for always having nice NPCs, right? So <laughs> you occasionally need to have you, you occasionally hi there. Not everybody got to experience Cad Phil, you know that, right? Um, yeah. But anyway, uh, sorry, Zach, carry on. Um. Yeah, and obviously, obviously, it's nice to see Edgar, and uh, yeah, maybe not for everyone, but for for me anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get the last shot, uh, Colin? Which was a. Uh... I got that it was Edgar that suddenly spoke to him like that much. I got. Yeah, it was basically like Edgar was there eating noodles at like an outside noodle stand. Yeah. And it was just like Jig. <laughs> yeah. Good. You got everything then. So yeah. Anything yeah, else you want to add, Zig? Uh, I, d I don't think so. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. I. Uh, Nico and Zora. Uh, Nico and Zora. Of course. Yes, but... <clears throat> um, it's because I say Nico sometimes, or I say Zora sometimes, so I may as well just say both. Like I said, I, I enjoyed the... Uh, I mean, it was a highlight. It was the conversation between Alex and um, the Queen, really. Between Alex uh, and the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> weird and the Queen. Weird and Queen. Weird Queen. Aye. Uh, Bob is vile. <laughs> it's a vile, <laughs> nasty, disgusting thing. Do you know, we should have called the episode Q, and then when Emily went, oh yeah, episode Q, I'm like, you mean Bob? That's episode <laughs> Bob. <laughs> 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 Good try. Oh, oh man. 
That'd be interesting. Disgusting thing. Uh, <laughs> what else? What else is there? Yeah, it's just the Queen General. I guess. It's good. Yeah, thank you. It's very, very Queen heavy. She was very irritated. She wasn't very happy this episode. This, this. <laughs> I think it's though, like, she's not really, like, this is literally her out of her wheelhouse, right? Literally, you sort of went a wonder. She's had nothing but grief about how she got you the ship, and then, yeah, like you, you've been like, right, cool. So we're going to this planet. Uh, we might sell the ship that you clearly think is yours. Uh, also, by the way, turns out once we've landed, uh, this place might kill you. So nobody thought to tell you that before that either. So also, we know people that psychically invade your mind when they want. That that's also something you have to deal with, Queenie. Oh, it's fair, it's right? No, it's not a pleasure cruise, all right? Like, to be fair, though, she I mean, tried. Literally, is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she um, she did offer to pay for stuff, right? Yeah, it's handy. And I fully intend to exploit that generosity. Yeah, as if we don't. Need to, as if we have to. I mean, we mad slob office. <laughs> He leave vile Q alone. Get, 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 Cap, get her to pay for the thing as she sort of offered, right? We then make a deal with him, get absolutely nothing out of it in our rent to maximise profit so he's not like, oh, I gave you information in exchange for goods. No, code hard cash because we're going to get the information from Ramasetu, who is... Probably not going to be too eager to let us just loot our shit, but eh, you know we can work something out there. Um, I mean, literally, as soon as he back. looked at you, he licked his lips and said, "Lucrative, right?" Yeah. So, I mean, maybe we go back, we sell it, make money. It's uh, reason to do as well. Let us say, I mean, there's... so let's let's have this conversation after the current conversation, okay. right? Okay. So. Nico. Uh, but yeah, that's basically <laughs> me. I basically, I basically said, said mm -hmm. it's just it, really. Yeah, it was... Not good. It was good, good Queenie, good Queenie, good Alex Queen conversation, and Bob is a vile thing. It's obviously because me I'm and Bob. Alex, as the, the two most monotone of the role players in the group, <laughs> uh, clearly are hiding our talents. <laughs> and we're mere, yes. merely waiting for this moment to shine. <laughs> uh, speaking of Alex and... Uh, Nick's Five's former self, uh, weird. Hello. Future self. Future self, whatever. Uh, yeah. No. Hello, Ryan. I will Hello. try to add some, uh, some flux to my voice to distinguish myself. I, um, I wasn't shade, buddy. I wasn't shade. Yeah, it was, no, no. Uh, <laughs> I, I, uh, it's, it's my go-to when I'm like, I can't do an accent. I will just flatten it all out. I mean, I have to describe people who are as gorgeous or disgusting to get the point across. So, I mean, we all have to work with what we're yeah. given. <laughs> Even Bob. <laughs> Bob, yes, Bob was horrendous. Thank you for that. Even just listening to him. Uh, <laughs> I, can smell, yeah. I can smell it. Yes. It's, it's particularly since one of those times where I'm not in the scene, so I occasionally zone out and then just something, some noise mm. will make back into it. Oh, yeah. oh, it's so bad. Do you know something? I'm really glad you enjoy my my DMing. So you are all you welcome. Enjoy. <laughs> I'm more of a joyful. I'm so glad you are all experiencing my. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's less about enjoyment. It's more about an addiction now. You know, uh, good. It's, it's like things that are too spicy. You you know it's too hot, but you keep putting that hot sauce in there. You're like, oh, I need the spice. Good. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Um, carry no, on. I mean, I'm aroused, but anyway, carry on. <laughs> My wayward son. <laughs> and it's always good to see Wesleyan back. Yeah, right. Um, what a surprise cameo. And yeah. he didn't sound like he was expecting to see Zig either. <laughs> I love that, like Which the is... impromptu noodle noodles being shoveled into face, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of particularly when you're used to seeing him all dressed up and yeah. posing. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's nice to see how he's fallen from grace. Um, <laughs> not taking too much risen to my it. level <laughs> <laughs> to be um, fair Grace is yes. a powerful person as well so I mean you never know yeah. mm -hmm. you know I, I did utterly enjoy our chat especially yeah, because too. it sort of came off the back of being slightly disrespectful to the queen because I'm like yeah, I'll leave her in the ship uh -huh. and, and then, then you went to like walk out and went oh wait a minute I have to stay in there too 
yeah, I've just annoyed her, <laughs> and then, and then I can't leave. But what's but, the, what I like about it though is, you just both do care about Zig, yes. and that was kind of nice to see because yeah, you just have had this weird, slightly standoffish, and I, I say slightly because it hasn't been that big, a, like it's not been a massive thing. Like she was happy to offer you like her cl- her clothing. You mm-hmm. have been there being, obviously, weird, but also being as involved and as useful as you normally are, so you're a facilitator, which she appreciates. She likes efficiency. Um, mm-hmm. And th- for the most part, the crew have been efficient, right? Um, you have done everything she asked so far. But it was nice to actually have that part where it's like, she's used to people doing what she says. That's very clear. She's willing to earn yes. what she thinks has value. So, as soon as she saw that she was being tested in the ship, she was like, mm. find who you need to find, tell me, tell me how much they want, I will give them that, we will move forward. And that was her way of saying, yes, I'm annoyed, but let's move it along, I will help, look at me help, <laughs> make <Yeah>. make <laughs> this machine make me help you, <laughs> connect your speaky boxes to it. <laughs> yeah, but I think the vibes I was almost getting off of it was uh, uh, kind of like divorced parents mm-hmm. trying to figure out what to do with their kids. Yeah, um, it, it was pretty much like the, you know, we kind of want as little to do with each other, but we also both have this mutual like concern and like like care yeah. for this other person. Yeah, um, and some disagreement about what is the best course of action for him. Yeah, like yeah, she obviously wants to go running after him, right? Yeah, and I've got the no. Let me stand on his feet. Yeah, That'd like fine. if like, you put your hand in the fire, he'll stop burning himself eventually. And she's like, don't let yes. him go near the fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think Weird has a lot of faith in Zig um, but, uh, Which is good And I think it's going to yeah. be interesting If Zig ever finds that out as well That's yeah. going to be super interesting I think Because that's going to be a really good scene between you two um, yeah. Like Zig and the Queen have had a fair amount of scenes So I don't think he needs to like. Obviously his little apology at the end was really nice um, And she obviously went to reply But then didn't really know what to say As he ran away Because um, mm-hmm. it's one of those things where he upset her, but it wasn't what he has done that upset her. It's what has happened that is upsetting. So, does that make sense? Like, she's not pissed mm. off at Zig, even if Zig feels like it's his fault. It's the fact that yeah. what happened is an upsetting thing because, yeah, she doesn't exactly relish the fact that her sister's dead. So, and also caused a whole fuck ton of havoc since, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Also, I, I quite enjoyed our scene together for the uh, both characters having such minor tonal differences between their moods and their mm. comments, like trying to play that, play those very minute gaps. Yeah, it's fun. tricky sometimes, isn't it? When you're like, yeah, she has shifted how she'll act, so she'll do this slightly differently because she's annoyed, yeah. but she doesn't want to be annoyed because she's above that in her head. Yeah, yeah. And with weird, you know, kind of bring him out with more jokes and things than Nick's would have had. He's See, got more social wild show. I love the fact that you made a joke, but I also love the fact I'm like this is for weird. It's a huge thing, but for yeah. her, it's the worst possible thing to have done in this scene. Which I love <laughs> that. So good. Where it's like such growth yeah. for weird, and then she's like, "How dare you make jokes about this person's life? And you've just told me you value your armor more than him. How dare you?" <laughs> Yeah. My precious small rat child. <laughs> yeah, he brought it back with the drunk man. Oh. <laughs> I, just, I, I like. I've, I've got a little note. I've written it down. Yep. <laughs> it's on my wall. But I was like, yeah, because trying to Fair work. Not. Yeah, trying to actually have like things she would relate things to when she's got a mix of knowledge now, where she has her culture's mm-hmm. knowledge versus the stuff she stole from that banker. Like, it's because that's how she knows about. Um, all the stuff like when Lyco was saying earlier, I can't remember the word he used. A uh, envoy, or what, it wasn't envoy, but it was like, was it entourage? Oh, about the chaperone, yeah. I think. Chaperone. That was yeah. the exact word. Chaperone. Like she will get that because clearly chaperone's a word the banker would understand. So contextually, mm-hmm. she gets the word, but a lot of it's still foreign mm-hmm. to her. Like maybe not understanding the depth to the word. Um, but yeah, like it's interesting because obviously then she can make comments like, yeah, like. Drunk men think they can walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it did kind of feel like we were two people speaking a language we're not entirely familiar with. 
Yeah, and the language is Zig, quite frankly, in yes. Zig's his own language. Yeah. Most of the jokes and things are like, because I'm, yeah, in other games I play the bards or whatever, where I make dick jokes all the time. Uh -huh. um, so weird, trying to bring out weird sense of humor without just being slapstick or yeah it's not it specifically it's awkward jokes yeah it's not at the expense of someone specifically it's just a joke yeah. maybe about the situation look this is awkward oh no and she's like yes yep. it is awkward why aren't you doing something about that like i think it's just because she's burdened with practicality and trying to make up for yeah. lost time that she may be more exposure to that and you guys in general because you're relatively relaxed as people like yeah except maybe Zip. i think we're <laughs> definitely more relaxed mm -hmm. strangely than next um, despite obviously what he's been told he has to do yeah but, but then, uh, is there maybe like a freedom in the fact that you got that weird like quasi-dimensional vision of like query who's like I failed mate it's on you buddy like yeah maybe in a way it's a degree of confidence yeah because I mean you know what he did and didn't do and mm. you know that that's maybe something you need to do unless you can change like your path because it's not guaranteed you're going to end up where he did at all yeah because you already have made that change because you now are totally different to what Nix's progression would have made because mm -hmm. maybe if Nix had developed naturally you would have looked like Query. Yeah. So. And definitely. It's, um, that's, for me, that's really fucking cool. Um, mm -hmm. Anything else you'd like to add? Oh, I just enjoyed being propositioned with her trying to get me out my arm. Yeah, that was... It was funny because I'm like, <laughs> she would find that funny because she is kind of that playful because she she likes that type of humour, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. Um, yeah. She likes it's making people bit, uncomfortable but... in politeness. <laughs> yes, which I don't think is an issue that mm -hmm. Weird particularly has. Yeah. Because um, obviously, think back to her and Zora, everything like she made, because Zora is kind of a bit uptight in her eyes. Yeah. So she made loads of innuendo jokes because she knows that makes somebody uncomfortable. So it's like a political thing oh, for her. Hey. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's how she sees oh, you. Hey. Even when you try to like tackle her, she like when you try to like sorry not tackle her, but you try to do your a uh, salute and she like judo flips you to the floor. Like she is so much more fast and loose that way. And then it's a total flip when Weird tries something. And it's like here's a joke, and she's like, oh my god, let's save Zig. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So and I think it's unexpected coming out of Weird as well because oh, he looks good. like he should be uptight. Yeah, but I mean you're wearing that cape now, so you're sorted. Yes, that really. <laughs> makes a difference. This, this is my new casual self. I will have a cape now. Yep. <laughs> um, but yeah, sorry Zora, I am coming in to uh, steal your wife. Uh, have a sleep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the, best th the best thing is how that develops before Alice gets back on the scene. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah that's right. And then the headache I'm going to have. Yep. How to switch Alice between... Alice D in your four forearm self anymore. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I've got four arms. It'll be fine. Maybe... Maybe <laughs> Alice is going to have more arms by the time you see her. You don't know what she's been up to. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Don't mean. Oh, I've got plans for extra legs, so we're fine. <laughs> um, Colin. Hey. Hello. I don't know why you say it like that. Okay. Just Sorry. That -la 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 go. There you go. Uh, and oh. enjoying the thought of all the upgrades I'm going to make once I police this. <laughs> Poor fat bastard for all his money. Um, yeah, that was fun. It was nice getting to do a bit of uh, skullduggery. Uh, mm. To an extent, obviously, it was more focused on actually the, the interactions with the guy once we found him. But it was still cool getting to engage in a bit. Dude, I mean, you can still spend a lot of time in Akaton if you want, right? Like, you can. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, I'm already thinking, like, he presents an interesting opportunity because the guy's. So fucking sleazy. <laughs> He's not right nasty, nasty thing <laughs> could and he be very has happy. offered me something. Mm -hmm. Perhaps thinking, eh, yeah, but I can't possibly resist some information here. You know, he's going to want to make a deal with me just to know what's going on, and not realizing I already have an ends. Yeah, right. Like he has no clue to your connections, no but like I, I have to assume he doesn't at least. So. To kind of be very clear about that scene, the impression he was giving you, very on the surface, was you can get close to the ship because of your condition. Yeah, that because was, of negative energy, yeah. So, yeah, you are more likely to be useful to him in his eyes. Hence why I was like, 
nice. Yeah. You know. So here's what I was thinking that because this this and, and you probably noticed this immediately gave me like a ah. So what I'm going to do is, and and it made me think, we can use this guy as a way to test out our connection with Conspiracy Craig, because the guy's he's hard to get your hat and on. He's just weird as fuck. Not in a why. <laughs> Keep in mind, you know, he did take you guys. He did take yeah, you guys yeah, six hours to find as well through uh, using all your connections. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely someone who operates in the back channels. He's definitely someone who gives the the impression, at least, of being really quite unpleasant. He does not come across well. I'm glad that all I have to do was act as him to give you that impression, though. That that manner, tells me a lot. He's, he's very... He strikes me as a person who's sort of defined purely by appetite. Mm. Whether it be money or food. The fact um, that he sat there with a bucket of tar and just yeah, slopped it, it into him. Mm. You know, look. Uh, it did not make me feel good about the crisps I was eating. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it did also present an opportunity because it's like, right... What I'm going to have to try and do here is find a way to get the suit of armor for Weird. Mm -hmm. While also trying to do it in such a way that we can take advantage of the largesse of the Queen. Mm -hmm. Then, initiate contact with the Bone Sage I mean, and use the Bone Sage in order to get some tech to gift to him without making him aware so we need to do some background on him and find out exactly how entrenched he is, how much he's going to know. Also, where's I the queen getting the money from? Yeah, probably from that fucking idiot that's in the hospital. Um, <laughs> and and th this 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 presents an awesome little opportunity for me to really like it up, which I'm quite excited for. Um, and I I intend to just play all the fucking angles. It's going to be glorious. What that th means is that we perhaps have a golden opportunity to actually get some ha our hands on some of his tech on the cheap, at the very least. You know, if we are able to provide him with, even if it's at minimum danger and risk to us, and, you know, he doesn't need to know that. I mean, it's almost like he might be an ally. Potentially. He could be an ally. I don't like him, <laughs> but he could be an ally. <laughs> <laughs> is that um, purely um, on appearance? You don't like him, though? No? Oh, it's not a behaviour! He's creepy! Um, it's a creepy bastard, I don't like if him. He, if he double crosses me, I will just end him. I, Can you imagine if the Queen met him? She'd maybe just kill him instantly? No. Just, uh, disgust, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, have, I have every reason to believe that this guy is as sleazy as he appears because he's an exotic weapon stealer who <laughs> <laughs> comes across sleazy as fuck in that profession which is already shady hey listen so, see anyone that has their name in neon lights as their store name how could they possibly the be thing. sleazy right <laughs> uh so yeah that that is glorious i look forward to that i've been looking at the armory thinking i'm gonna get a fucking scope i'm gonna get a <laughs> and looking at all the bone i didn't even realize snipe was a specific action you could take by the way mm -hmm. I thought you just shot with the sniper rifle because that's what it says. You can aim. It was probably near the point. Right the extra range. Yeah. It's like, the, mm. but I'm looking through that, the, there is actually like a bonus to sniping you can get from like suppressors and things. So before so we start talking really about inventory, we'll talk about that in a wee second, right? Yeah, um, no, I'll go into yeah, more. So we'll talk about that yeah. in a wee second. For everyone here then, obviously, what is the next set of actions? Obviously, we need to resolve Zig and Edgar. Right, because that's obviously going to be something, unless Zig just runs. Um, so we've got Zig and Edgar. We've got Zora and uh, Lyco with Q or Bob. With Bob. Um, Q Bob. And you obviously need to follow up on a bunch of stuff. You've got Ramasethu to follow up on. You've got Conspiracy Craig to follow up on. You've used your celebrity hood, so there's already a ripple in the waters of Akaton. Um, the waters of Akaton would be an awesome mini series yeah, about the this. Waters yeah, of Akaton. Very Doctor Who. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of Akaton. Yeah, I'll save that as a title for the future. Waters of Akaton. This is when Zig irradiates the fucking polar cap of Akaton because he gets lost. Him and Edgar go a wonder. <laughs> um, we've also got whatever happens in the shuttle stays in the shuttle. Um, 
between the Queen and Weird. I so yeah. So I got some engineering roles. Engineering to do as well. What is the main focus of the party, right? So I know that Weird is probably gonna be left in the shuttle for hours because the Queen's gonna leave after a couple of hours, timeline wise, from your point of view. Um for you mm -hmm. to patch up the suit enough to hold. Um because it won't won't particularly take too long. Like a couple of hours work would patch up enough to get you you might have to break something in the shuttle to do that, but that's fine. Um and then she can go outside <laughs> and go chasing Zig. But then she's got a two hour deficit. Which means you maybe have to give her your calm. Maybe. But we'll deal with all that. Um so we'll resolve that. Then four hours ahead from then. Sorry, two hours ahead, Zig meets Edgar. Two hours ahead again, uh, we've got them two meeting Q Bob. So yeah, that'll be interesting to tie everybody back up again and then decide if we're going to go talk to some bone sages in the middle of nowhere. Because when Alex mentioned at the start of the session, so about crashed ships in the desert, and I'm like, mm. yep, hold your horses. We're getting there. Yeah. <laughs> yep, <laughs> literally crashed Aeoxian cruiser in the desert has been the plot since, what, 20 sessions ago I've had written. And uh, <laughs> I'm like, yep, one day they'll go to Akaton. One day. <laughs> and then Ramaseth will be like, hello, finally. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited for that. Also, a, a potential Barai conversation upcoming as well. Yeah, that'll be interesting. <laughs> yeah, so... I know, we don't have to talk about how to land a spaceship next week, so that's going to be super fun. Uh, unless you need to teach Alice how to fly the shuttle from the final hour. Uh, unless you just fly the shuttle up to the final hour, if you get it there. And also get an, get communication to the ship, so maybe you could try cube up for communication first. Is maybe something you want to focus on? I think we want to go to another source for that. Right, okay, cool. That gives me... I'd agree. ...something to, to work with, yeah. Don't, don't let sleazy, sleazy Bob... I uh, don't want him to know all our business. Yeah. Right? Because, let's face it, separation. the Vesk war hero and a Barai have walked into a store that are friends. So he's already very noticeable in his world, right? So, this is, again, where the ripples of attention start to focus. And obviously we know Zig and Edgar are going to get up to something that's probably not quiet, so... What? I disagree. <laughs> this is when you just hear from across the way, get away from him, you bitch! And it's Alice in a mech. <laughs> just blows up another diner. Um, Fires and... diners out of her diner cannon. Yep, yep, there you go. Each one full of innocence. <laughs> Each one full Sex of MO. Very upset. <laughs> Not again. So, anyway, I thanks everyone for playing. This was a really fun session, actually. Um, <laughs> goodbye. Bye. Goodbye, goodbye. Bye.